first stop of the day at the gas station right now. I got like two more hour drive, uh, two more hours. I'm be in Savannah. Got this big boy on the back here, loaded up with everything I'm gonna be taking to Savannah. Not everything, you know, I still got some stuff. I'm not gonna be staying here like right now, but still got a little bit of stuff in there. But uh, just filled up on some gas, gonna get back on the road. Um, and hopefully we can just drift right upon there. I got a busy day today and I'm going to be unpacking all that stuff. Also got the whole bed, uh, the bedroom set coming in today. I just gotta set everything up in the house. It's gonna be, a, we're gonna be hustling today, guys. We're gonna be getting a lot of work done. Moving everything, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It's gonna be great, get everything done. Second stop, 30 minutes out. I'm ready for this. The Ashley Furniture people actually called us, all right? So they called us and we're still 30 minutes out, they're there, all right? They don't stay more than 15 minutes. So we called our realtor up, he actually has a key to the house still. Uh, we called our realtor up, he's freaking awesome, super nice guy. He literally went over there and let him in like, his name's Chip. Chipper, if you're watching this man, you're the man. If you guys ever need a realtor, that's the guy you need to call in Savannah. It's freaking awesome. He, he's done so much for us. It's ridiculous. And oh, That's enough said right there. 30 minutes out, ready to get there. Start unpacking, start building stuff, start just getting everything together. So pumped for it, so ready for it. To get it over with, it's gonna be great. Let's go. Common sense. Your frontal cortex engages so your brain opens up. Yeah. So guys, just got to the house. We're unpacking everything right now. Yeah, it's always fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll go give a tour here in a minute with like everything we got. We got painted and everything. We're trying to. Uh, I can't even talk right now. We're gonna try to move everything in and get everything situated right now. I'm probably gonna have to change in shorts. It's like a hundred degrees. Surprisingly, so far, nothing has been broken. It does smell like sewage out here. I don't know why. Well, there's freaking sewer right in the yard. I never noticed that. Oh man, that's a good one. Alright, looks like I need a drop shot. Maybe I found a little good bait here. Yeah, we're gonna get a little kayak. He's actually. That's how fat that thing is. Look how fat he is, dude. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? What do you mean? A bass? Yeah. Look at that guys, just fishing in the backyard. This is my second one on a drop shot. Look how thick and just healthy this fish is. That's unreal. Drop shot's killing it out here. Yeah, yeah dude, it's crazy. What are you throwing, man? Dude, I'm throwing a, a Nico, a Nico Senko. I mean, it's not killing it as good as a drop shot is. I haven't even got a bite out here, but See, Noah's out here whacking it. The thing with these ponds is it has a lot of stuff on the bottom. So I usually like to use like a weightless worm or like a drop shot because it keeps it off the, the way this worm is going to sink down in all that gook and all that nasty stuff on the bottom of the lake. Just the same as a drop shot. It's going to hover above or you can use like a Carolina rig with a mono leader. So it'll float, but pretty fish. Don't want to be getting down in that swamp grass or anything. Mark, you said that, that little boy caught 11 pounder the other day. Yeah. What? You got yeah. him? There's some big fish in here. There was a guy. That's not bad. Oh, oh he spit it. That was like a two pounder he too. He spit it. You know what that is? Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might have some thick skin. Dude, he's like seven or eight pounds. Oh my god. Dude, Isaac, come here, dude. This is about an eight pounder, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna bring him up. Walk this way, now. He's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. 
That's a Look, pig. Right in the top of the mouth. Isaac, can you call her? Yeah. Look at that, guys. That is a tank. Look at the mouth on that thing. God, let's get a picture. <laughs> Dude, that is unreal. He barely ticked it and he started running with it. I thought I literally had a 10 pounder for a minute there. You see how big you look when you. <laughs> His first gone? thing he says is, I'm going to catch one before Isaac comes down here. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to take it on that one. Good picture. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. What happened right there? Is that a turtle? I don't know. Can you release him now? All right, guys. Monster right here. We're going to see if we can catch some more. Get the release on this guy. That is a tank right there. Look Push at that this man. Push him this way. Turn him around. Oh my god. That wasn't intense. Here we go. We got his first one. Out here, pond backyard. Oh, get him up here. I didn't see that thing. Ain't too bad. Little baby boy. Oh, he's got it. He's, huh. You don't have any pliers either, do you? You have any pliers, Isaac? Oh. Pretty fish right here, about two, two and a half pounds. Got us. Beautiful fish. Funny part is, is I was actually hopping my drop shot all along while I was out deep, and something kept hitting my line. So when I got there, uh, I dropped it right where they were coming up and hitting my line and started shaking it, and that's when he grabbed it. It's pretty fish. I don't mind catching those right there. Dude, I had a vlog in the river. I didn't realize that. So, uh, after we went fishing earlier, God, that was unreal. We caught a lot of fish. I didn't get them all on camera. Uh, Isaac caught one. My dad caught one. Keegan almost got one. I caught five in that freaking toad. One decent one that was around two, about two and a half, two and three quarters. That was a good one as well. There's a lot of big fish out there. I was just using a drop shot. The reason I was using that drop shot is because there's a lot of like gook on the bottom of that lake. And when I tend to go to these ponds and other stuff like that, I usually throw a weightless worm. Drop shot's great. Carolina rig's great. That drop shot, you know, it's got, it's got the hook right here with the bait on it. It has a leader. It goes down to the weight. All right, the weight's on the bottom, the line's floating, that worm's floating off the bottom, so it's not gonna get in all that crap off the bottom. Really effective way to catch this fish, because if you throw like a shaky head or Texas rig, big jig, what's gonna happen is gonna sink all the way to the bottom, it's gonna be in that stuff, and half the time it's gonna sink in it, especially if you're using like a jig, like that's just not gonna work whatsoever, because it's gonna be buried in there, unless you're like stroking it and popping out of that stuff. A uh, worm might stick out of it a little bit, but drop shot, weightless, uh, Carolina rig, that's way to go. Right now, we're gonna do a tour later tonight, but uh, we're working on getting all of the kitchen stuff ready, getting all the kitchen ready. I haven't vlogged in forever, so it's been a minute. Um, getting a lot of these stuff ready. Got all this, washing a lot of stuff. For some reason, this stuff smells really weird. Got the important um, stuff up here. Yeah, stuff that I might use if I can actually get myself in the gym after losing like 50 pounds. I'm getting back in the gym soon. Pick plates, spices. Once we finish all this, we're gonna get to the store. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're going to go buy a few more things. Actually, I forgot something. Um, got the alarm done, got the internet done. So those are two very important things. The alarm, alarm's completely finished. I can't believe I didn't vlog all this. I put it really bad now. Um, Internet's completely done. Talked to the neighbor a little bit and uh, just been on and off kind of fishing. Went and ate some, ate, ate, ate some lunch and been pretty productive. What's going on guys? It's actually the morning after all the footage that was shot 
you know, I really didn't finish everything uh, with footage wise. Stayed up super late. Actually went to Walmart uh, and bought some stuff. And it was just so late. It was so packed. It was it was hard. But look at the lake this morning. Beautiful outside. I'm going to give you guys the house tour right now. Show you guys, you know, everything that we did yesterday. Everything that we got done. Everything with placement. It's insane. I can't believe we got this much done really this quick. Today I'm going to be vlogging as well, but it's going to be a separate vlog. And I'm going to be at Best Buy and Walmart. And I'm going to be kind of finalizing the house with electronics and stuff like that. But let me let me give you the lowdown. So this is for outside. I actually got this super cheap, two hundred bucks. All right, four piece. One, two, three, four. It's for outside. It's out of the material that you know could possibly get rained on. Man, for two hundred bucks, I mean that you can't beat that. That's perfect for out here. I might end up moving that to right there. So if because most of the time I'm gonna be sending this one, I could face out towards the lake. That's possibly what I'll end up doing. I have some fishing poles right there. I was fishing earlier. This is delivered this morning. This is the kitchen table. They uh, it's like 8.30 I believe. This is the table that we got at Rooms To Go. So Rooms To Go came this morning, delivered all this. I like it, we just gotta be careful with all of this right here. Got the kitchen, unpack most of the stuff, put them in the cabinets, laundry room, pantry. I'll have to do a full tour later on. Got that. The whole living room's done. Um, with the couches, tables, everything like that, all the good stuff. Got this long table right here. I actually picked that up. This is a, uh, a vacuum picked up at Walmart yesterday. This actually came with the house. Um, but the people were trying to get rid of it, so we just got it. So, you know, it's a lot of good storage for my cameras and stuff. Yeah, it's a weird color, but honestly, it doesn't look bad with like all brown walls and stuff. The uh, office area, that's where I'm going to be doing all my work, all, all the kicking the bass stuff, all my homework will be done right here. So we went to Walmart yesterday. So we went to Walmart, all right? We wanted to get a little couch right here. So they had this little futon that's like leather, fake leather. It's like 120 bucks over it. You know what? Can't go wrong with it. If it breaks, it breaks. It's 100 bucks. So we, we take it out of the package, and that's actually where I slept last night because I didn't have the mattress for my bed. So that's where I slept. They didn't, they didn't have any legs on it, literally. It had no legs on it, and it didn't come in the box. They were supposed to come in the box, it didn't come in the box, so we're going to Walmart, and we're going to figure that out today. And I destroyed the box, so there's no way I'm going like, to be able to like return that. That's actually where my mom slept. It's just like a tempur foam. This is the spare bed, or not spare, but this is another spare bedroom. The other bathroom. This is going to be like my grandparents' and my parents' room when they, if they come in and visit. It's like the main spare bedroom. Feel like all them. So yeah, this is this is all the the whole set that I bought at Ashley Furniture. This is what I got for the room, bed spread, whole whole deal. That actually already came in here. It matches everything. Bathroom, pretty solid. Closet, shower. Storage towels and stuff. And this door keeps shutting. I really want to fix it, but look. So annoying. So annoying. But overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I'm gonna be coming out with more vlogs and stuff like that that'll be appearing. Like, you know, I have I post three videos a week and I usually go like fishing video. Let me get it better. Lighting. I usually go fishing video, vlog fishing video or like fishing video vlog tip video you know kind of all in a cycle so stay tuned for all the vlogs i'm gonna be vlogging today as well but that's for a whole nother video but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button please comment below and please subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you guys in the next one Honestly, I think that 24 7 an understatement to my day to day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They yeah. say I said, ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at a distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.